Our format is this. We are going to have four sandwiches that we try. We're going to do a plain Jane burger and bun Whopper, a plain Jane burger and bun impossible Whopper, and then a impossible Whopper with all the fixins and a Whopper with all the fixins. So we can judge the meat and texture by itself and then also the non-meat and its texture and self, plus <laughs> with everything else. Any but, objections to this as but, we set the terms? But we don't know which is which. We are going in blind, yes. Well, I don't really, like what if I like the impossible? Oh, what if she likes it? <laughs> yeah. I don't want to like it. I'm concerned too. Then she, we're going to make her eat teriyaki sticks for the rest of her life. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing she can eat when she comes in. But you know, I've pondered this whole deal and I thought, you know, I'm confident in our product, even even if I do happen to tolerate this scum that I'm going to taste. <laughs> I think I can tell a difference. Yeah, now. so okay. can I. Oh. Mm. <laughs> you could say what you want. Well, see, it may it may make me it may make me look bad. So go I'm ahead. I'm going to go on a limb. You know, I'm thinking this ugly looking one is the fake. You know what? It sucks getting old. To examine your meat and your fake meat, one needs his glasses. If I'm wrong, I'll eat my Unabomber glasses. It doesn't have a umami taste. Who's mommy? <laughs> you mommy. <laughs> the imposter burger. <laughs> the imposter. I like that. Okay, I can tell by looking too. Okay, well, don't give it away. I, I shan't. <laughs> I've been I wanting I, to use that word. I can tell as well. You know, I liken this to something. Say, have you ever had like snake meat? Uh, I have not. Well, you know, you don't want to eat it, but you will for the for the cause. That's what I feel like. Or lizard, or I don't know, horse. Cassidy, are you confident in your palate now? I'm pretty confident. Paul? Huh? Oh, yeah, baby. The look of it and everything, I, as soon as I looked at it, I'm like, pretty sure I could yep. tell. Okay. I got to say, I thought the Impossible <laughs> Whopper, not that it was great, but it tasted better with nothing on it than it did with all the fixings <laughs> on it. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> yes. Because it, it kind of messed up the taste of the tomato. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, but it did. Like you said, Paul, it had an aftertaste. People are going to ask us, why, why would you do this kind of thing? Why would you put, you know, you're endorsing some product that is against our industry. And we've had the guests here come talk to us. We've had Frank Fentloner and Dallas, you know, Allison Van Ennen and, and others to say, you need to be familiar with this product. You need to be familiar with what your competition is. You need to know what the consumers are liking or saying that they like. So that's, I, I hope our listeners understand, that's our, that's our motivation here, is to help. Okay, don't be afraid of something just because it's making a claim against our industry. I, I think it's, there's, a, there's a, a point to be made. Hey, yeah, we'll try it. Let's see what it is. And I think the point is clear from, from our own taste. We can't sit there and say that somebody's taste has to be a certain way. What we are saying is those claims that say, this is going to replace this product by 2030 right. or 2035. And it's com- completely comparable to, to meat and to regular protein. What would you say to that claim, Cassidy? Well, I was just going to say, I, mean, I don't know if this is answering your question, but I think that it's good that we have options. I mean, the people that are, yes. are going to buy the Impossible Whopper already weren't eating meat in the first place. I, I think that's right. I think that's the point. And so that's just an option for them. And I, I don't feel like the people that already eat, are eating meat and that don't have a problem with how beef is raised or, or any other claims about beef, they're going to continue eating beef. So I, I guess I just don't see... Um, some of those statistics come into fruition. Quite the comparison there. So, yeah. any thoughts on that? That was more enjoyable than a rock fight. Eh? <laughs> I well, was, yeah, I gotta tell, and I said again, I was really concerned about, <laughs> about this. Nothing to worry uh, about, right? Yeah. <clears throat> After I saw it, I felt the weight lifted off my shoulders, <laughs> like you said. <laughs> Very good. <laughs>